Welcome to SEM Connections demonstration, how to run a statistical forecast model in SAP IVP. In the previous video, we showed you how to create a statistical forecast model using the web front end of IVP. In this video, we will show you how to run that model in the Excel front end portion of IVP, which you can see here. This is the view I like to use when evaluating history and checking the fit of a statistical forecast visually. You can see I'm looking at historical data with upper and lower limit bars displayed to make finding outliers easier. Once I'm happy with the historical values, I'm ready to run the stat model I created. To run the model, I go to the stat forecasting model in the advanced tab of the IBP ribbon, which you'll find here. This menu allows me to run a job, check the status of, of any jobs that I've kicked off and also schedule jobs to run in the future. I'm going to select run and that brings me to this screen here. This is where I tell the system what model to run and at what level to run. The attributes selected here are automatically populated with the settings of the current view. I can also filter on attributes here to limit the scope of the run. Now I go down here, I select the time period I'm working in, and as you know that is weeks. I scroll down here and the model that we created was called Best Fit Auto, so I select that here. And I also have to give it a unit of measure. And then I select Next. This Next screen allows me to assign a reason code for this job or also comment on the job. I'm going to select Run to kick it off. Click OK. Now, if you recall, we created an automated exponential smoothing model that does all of the work for us. I'm running single, double, and triple exponential smoothing models and having the system choose the best fit based on MAPE. I have also created interim key figures, which you see here, and these will hold the results of the individual models, and then the final result, the best fit, will go into the key figure called statistical forecast quantity here. I'm going to scroll over here to the current period so we can examine the results. And now I'm going to go check the status of my job. So I click back to the statistical forecasting menu, click status, and if you see here, this very top job is the one that I just kicked off and it is still running. I'm going to click refresh. Oh, and now it has completed. So I'm going to click close. Once that's complete, I can refresh the template here using the refresh button. And now my results are displayed, as you can see here. Okay, for this particular product, customer location combination, if I look at the statistical forecast quantity numbers, that the system gave me, and I compare that down here to my single, double, and triple results, I can see that the best model for this particular data set was the triple exponential smoothing. I can use these results as a baseline for further model selection and tweaking, or leave this as the, the statistical input into my consensus forecast. Thanks for watching.